player 2 has joined the game. Hey yo, what's up everybody and welcome to episode 75 of the 2 Player Co-op Podcast. As always, I'm one of your hosts here, Kevin, along with my brother from my mother, Sean. How are we doing? Fantastic. We made it to 75 episodes. Can't even believe it. I, I don't even, I really can't even believe it, honestly. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, yeah, I was pretty shocked when we made it to 50, so. I was shocked when we made it to 10. Well, yeah, that too. But we hadn't even gone YouTube yet uh, at that point. No, we hadn't even gone to YouTube at that point. Um, so if you are watching us live on YouTube, thank you guys so much for being here. Send us messages through the chat, through the whole thing. We'll interact with you as much as we can. We'll do a Q&A section. If you guys, at the end, if you guys have any questions that you want to ask us, hit it in the chat. We'll see it. We'll do a Q&A section later, but that is the plan for today. So. Let's get right into it. Before, obviously, we are a video game podcast. But actually, we're a free-flowing conversation that sometimes touches on Occasionally other touches subjects. on mature subjects. I want to touch on... The WWE for a second here. Because Jinder Mahal is the WWE champion. And I've had a week and a half now, almost two weeks. No, almost a week for this to set in. And it still has not set in. So So here's my thoughts on that. You give me your thoughts, and then I'm going to give mine. I am all for change. I'm totally fine with that. The issue is, how do you send a straight-up jobber from Raw over to SmackDown and give him the title in a few weeks. A, what does that say about... I mean, A, that's just ridiculous, and B, what is that saying about the SmackDown product? I wonder... I don't don't think this is true, but does WWE just really that badly want Raw to remain their flagship program? Not that they would purposefully sabotage SmackDown, but like... What does that say about SmackDown that a raw jobber can come over and win the title? Here's my thing. I want to read you some names really quickly, okay? Owen Hart, British Bulldog, Mr. Perfect, Scott Hall, DiBiase, Rowdy, Roddy Piper, Jake the Snake. And those are just people. You know what they all have in common? What do they have in common? They have Kevin? nothing in common with Jinder Mahal because he won a world championship and none of them did. Now, if we wanted to just go by WWE championship and not include WCW, you can add in Ron Simmons. You can add in Farouk. You can add in... Those are the same people? <laughs> when I met Vader. <laughs> Ron Simmons slash Farouk and Vader. Those guys never won a world title. Owen Hart yeah. and what was so sad when he died, like... I remember hearing after that it was coming that they gave him the blue blazer thing to get through that, and then he was going to come back as Owen Hart and he was going to win the world title. Really, which that broke my heart even more. But Jim so, Hall is a WWE champion to me is an absolute joke. I have been so happy with SmackDown ever since AJ got there. Then this happened, and I'm just now I'm like I don't I don't even I don't care right now about anything. Well, it's just <sighs> wrestling related. I care about a lot of things, just not wrestling. All right, I feel like. What was I going to say? A woman? Uh, something about gender, Mahal. And um, uh, I'll, I'll try to figure out later what no, I was going to say. Oh, Rasan's here. Rasan <laughs> is here. Now the party has started. Um, I know. I, that's what I'm saying. I know Ron Simmons won a world title, but I was saying if I wanted to restrict it just to WWE title, then I could include Ron, Slim, Ron Simmons slash Fruit because he never won the WWE title. He was so, the first okay. ever African American world champion, by the way. So shout out to you, Rasan. It it just reeks. I mean, it's so obvious. Like, I, I'm not dropping any news on anybody. This is obviously because they're trying to expand in India. Right. It's the only reason they did it, and it's like, okay, I get you got to do what's good for business, but put the U.S. title on, do something, but don't do this. If I'm going to. Try to see the, <laughs> the oh, Rasan, I'm so glad you're here. The the positive side of it. I saw somebody tweeted. I think it was at tweeted at Dustin Star, um, and came up and was talking about a JBL comparison. And I was like, "Thank you," because I had the same thoughts. And then he went a totally different way that I did. Thank you. My thoughts as far as. JBL goes was Thank you, Brittany. now when I think back to JBL being a champ, I it doesn't seem that weird. 
I'm like, yeah, he was the champ for a while, but when he first won the title, I felt like this. Like, I was like, what the Justin heck? Hawk Bradshaw is the world champ. Like, what is going on right now? And then after a while, it didn't seem so bad. So I try to look on the bright side like that. The other thing, but again, but JBL back, was an accomplished wrestler. Jinder Mahal no, was no, part of the that. three man band. I He's never that. been worth a damn, and all of a sudden. Right. You're, you got a new WWE Network deal for India, and he's just a champion? All right. It's pandering, first of all. Exactly. Second of all, that dude is on steroids, and I don't care how many interviews he does where he says he's been tested. You don't go from what he used to look like to what he looks like now, where he has 0% body fat. He's got weird bumps everywhere, and his veins are popping out everywhere Man. without being on steroids. Right. The only other thing, again, not, right, to, not to defend gender, but they haven't had, again, not that this is why they're doing it, but they haven't had a true heel WWE champ. I mean, go back. Randy Orton. Was he a heel? Was he a face? I don't know. Styles didn't um, count as What's a heel. his name? Uh, Bray Wyatt. Heel? Face? I don't know. It Styles? Doesn't even matter. He's a heel, but everybody loved him. Before Styles, Dean Ambrose. And then before Dean for about five minutes, Seth Rollins, who everybody kind of liked. Before that, Roman, who some people like. And then before that, Triple H. It's been since Triple H at WrestleMania, what, 32? Since you when last Brian had a it, or true... No, he, oh, no yeah. when oh, Roman beat Reigns, him. sorry, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's been since WrestleMania 32, since you had a if full straight-up heel as the champ. If you want to get a good heel as a WWE champ, you give Miz the belt again. He wasn't ready for it when he had it right. the first time. He is so much of a better wrestler and a better overall performer than he was back in the day. I know he's on Raw now, I get it, but I'm just saying if you wanted a heel champ... I, but that's my point, they didn't want a heel champ. They just wanted to, to sell tickets or sell subscriptions or whatever in India. Right. Yeah. I get it. It is what it is. But It's a business doing? decision. It's but. very annoying. But yet AJ Styles is falling through tables, getting his foot stuck, but then it doesn't get stuck all the way. So he's got to grab the rope and put it around it so then he can fall back. <laughs> did you see that? I'm yes. like, it was a dumb finish. Uh, and then they made it even dumber the way they did that. Dumb and dumber. It's very right. annoying. Do you got some shout outs you want to give before we get into the... Uh, oh, you want to do that? Before we get into the rest... Of what we've been playing and all that fun stuff. We got some shout outs. Thank you guys so much for being here that are watching live. If you're watching on YouTube after the fact, thank you so much also for being here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this in the beginning. We're going to do this in the beginning because we just, this this could be a very long podcast. We don't know if you guys are going to hang, out, us, but, hang uh, around with us the whole night. So Yeah, if you're just tuning in for the beginning, we want to make sure we give everybody the shout outs that they deserve. So we did a lot of shout outs at episode 50. We, we shout we out, out everybody. Everybody. All 100 people. Well, now again, if you didn't get a shout out at episode 50, but you were one of the first 100 subscribers, depending on how your settings are, we may not we see may that not you're see a your sub. Name. So, and that will, that will go for this too. So this time, obviously we love you all. Thank you all. We're going to focus more on some of the newer people this time. Um, first, Matt Mitchell. Again, I don't know if any of y'all are in the chat. If you are... Give Matt, us a shout. If you're in the chat. If you're watching and you can't chat, that's fine. But we love you anyway. Uh, Matt Mitchell watches all our stuff, gives us a lot of comments. Again, we love all the, the views. We love the thumbs up. We really love the interaction. Keep tweeting us. Keep commenting on the videos. We love it. Matt does that a lot, so thank you, Matt. Uh, Christian, he's in the chat. I know he's not new to you. You guys been... No, I've been. I've known Christian on, I talking mean, known for a while, on but... For I don't know, um, three years or something now, probably something. Yeah, like that. I think of him as one of the the newer guys for us. So shout out to Christian. I know he's in the chat. Um, Asian gamer bro. I don't know if you're out there. But <laughs> I love this dude. This dude's he awesome. He watches all our videos. He comments on everything. He comments he's a got lot. his own pretty good YouTube channel too. Check him out. Check him out YouTube and Twitter. It's yep. just like it sounds. Asian gamer bro. Check him out. Uh, Derek Bamford. He comments on some of our stuff sometimes. Thank you very much. Uh, my boy Mark Lakata. Uh, you're currently busy moving, so you're probably not watching this, but shout out to Oof, you. I'm sorry that you're moving. Uh, it's yeah. like the worst. But he's moving to Collierville, so. Oh. Smart man. What's up, dude? Um, And a big uh, bourbon fan, so. Okay. I All like right. Well, I need to hang out with this guy, too. Uh, Poe Dizzle. Uh, James. Poe Dizzle, yes. Poe Dizzle. James Solar. I know you're watching James us. You tweeted. Yep. You're watching on your TV there. James I like it. Interacting a lot on Twitter and YouTube and everything. Good guy. Um, this guy, I wish I had something better to call him, but I just don't know. Arrogant. J S Concepcion. S J Concepcion. S J. Sorry. Oh. For whatever reason, I mean, not, I mean, when I think of this dude, I think of Bob Mackie now, and don't I don't mean anything against you, arrogant, if you're watching. But <laughs> he gave us the idea of weighing in on the whole Bob Mackie situation. Oh my and gosh! That video was like 20 or 30 views away from being our second most watched video. Yep. So. 
hey, it paid off. We had some fun online. So, And if any of the Bob Mackie fans have tuned in, hey, guys. Yeah. Um, appreciate you being here. Thanks for the view. And then last but not least, this is so cool. Ms. Aaron. Hmm. Hmm. Aaron, I know you're probably not watching. Hmm. Colin, you're probably even less likely to be watching. But if either of you are watching, we love you both. So cool that you subbed. Aaron, Colin, you should probably sub too. Um, and then, of course, beyond that, the usuals, um, Nick and Adam, Ernie and Derek. Um, sorry, Nick, if you're listening. So um, I was listening to Kevin Cerrito earlier. Yes. Nick and Adam were on. Yes. And Nick did the same thing you did when Logan was here. Now, this wasn't on the air. He, on the radio, again, sorry, Nick, I can't help myself. No, you have to tell, whatever the story is, I need you to tell it. He straight up dropped a... Eric and Derny. He did? <laughs> yes. No, he did No, not. he did. He did. And it was it was pretty funny. That's awesome, Nick. Uh, but oh, yeah, Nick Eric and Adam, and Ernie and Derek, we love you guys. Logan, uh, apparently there's some nasty weather where he is. No internet right now, but he'll try to jump on later. Hey, speaking of Logan. Oh, I'm skipping some of this. Sorry. Um, so Nick and Adam, check them out at nerd901.com. We're part or, of the Nerd901 family, if you hadn't heard. Or at nerd underscore 901. Um, Ernie and Derek are the Pixels and Papers guy. Uh, check them out again on Twitter. I think they have a website. It's just pixelsandpapers.com. Pixels and yeah. um, our boy Logan, leftylogie.com. Looks like Lefty Loggy, but it's pronounced Logie. So check them out there. He also writes for irrationalpassions.com. So check them out. Um, Robert. What happened to Robert? I feel like I haven't heard from him in a while. But he joined us for the live stream at 50. He joined us for 50. He used to tweet a lot more. Um, I think he popped up not too long ago on my Twitter. I think, well, he tweeted us. He tweeted at us around around the time when Breath of the Wild um, was coming out about reviews and stuff. I know he just got married, so shout out to Robert for that. Oh, okay. Well, then. Um, So he might be a little bit busy now. Um, And then the latest two new members to the Nerd901 family, Lee Travis at Lost the Numbers on Twitter, and the Shelfie Podcast. Uh, I don't have it written down here, but I'm pretty sure they're just at Shelfie Podcast on Twitter. So shout out to the whole Nerd901 family. Shout out to everybody in general who's been supporting us this whole time. And, you know, fresh shout outs to all you guys that have joined us over the last few months and been interacting with us this whole time. So we love you all. Thank you all so much. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, Nick. I couldn't help myself. Nick just tweeted or uh, texted me and he said, "Damn it, Sean. said some bad things." <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help myself, man. All right, but yeah, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Where's that ice? Uh, Brittany got me some. I, I mean, know, where is it? Oh, it's over there. Could you? I don't know where it is. All right, so we both played a video game this week. Now let's keep this spoiler free. Yes, but we both Thank played you. What Remains of Edith Finch. Initial thoughts from me. Um. Better than Gone Home. Yes. Still not as good as Firewatch. I will say this. The ending almost got me. Yeah. I did not go full Kevin and just blab my eyes out like I thought I was going to do. It didn't go the way, again, we have to keep it spoiler It was free. building up to something, and I thought it was going to be like, oh, she's the one. Oh. I thought it was something else. We can talk. Yeah. yeah. There's Nick. Nick finally joined. the Sean <laughs> USOB. <laughs> Uh, okay, but so I liked it a lot. I, I liked I'm, it a lot. It's at least my number two of all the walking simulator games I've played. Yeah. Um, if anything, it's behind Firewatch. Firewatch was just great storytelling. Again, it was and a it was beautiful also, world. The the world. What is I still, love about Edith Finch is the. I guess I would call it the the art direction. I don't know what you would call, it, but just like. The way the game plays out was yeah. just awesome. Yes. I don't know that... I mean, really, when you think about it, Firewatch... I mean, it had a good story, but it was just so cool to just be walking around the Shoshone like that. Like, it was just beautiful. Yes. Maybe the story in either Finch is better. I don't know. It it may have topped Firewatch for me. I don't know. It's tough. It didn't live up to what I had heard. Some of the way, uh, the way that some people were talking about this game... It Logan. didn't live up to that for me, like Logan. Yeah. Um, like, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. Good game. See, I would say... I think much better than Gone Home, but still not as good yeah. as Firewatch. I, I will say, 
I like that by the end of the game, we know what the title means. That right. was like, oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, I liked... So if you don't know, just to give you a broad... Spoiler-free Spoiler free, yeah. uh, vision of what, what Remains of Edith Finch is. It's a walking simulator, quote-unquote, game um, where you go through the history of the Finch family um, from the perspective of Edith, and you see all these different family members, probably like, how many was it? 10 to 12, something like that. At least 10, yeah. <clears throat> you play through their stories, and I don't think this is a spoiler, right? Because it's what the game is about. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Sean seven and keen <laughs> seven and keen it's not a spoiler love you nick it's not a spoiler what the actual stories are about correct because that was made clear in all the marketing i think i don't know see i missed all the more i never right, well, heard about this game it. before Logan. but you play through yeah a, a segment of the life of every member of the finch family and you see that there's something going on with that family throughout probably close to 60 70 years something like that um yeah and it's really well done again i just don't i, I just don't think it's the best yeah. So, good game. I already deleted it. I'm not going to go back and play it again. Not because there there were some of the stories there was to keep it spoiler free. The swing. Yep. The cannery. Yep. And the tub. So, shout out to nerd901.com cuz eventually uh I actually wrote a review of this game. Oh, you did. My you first wrote it? my first time awesome. like it's did just you, one of those did I things. Just talk about the three things you talked about. Those are the exact three that I call out in my review. Fist bump. So you have that to look forward to. There, but, but that those three are so far and above, uh, far above and away, better than all the other family stories. Yeah, like the first one where you're like a. Like, I didn't really care for that. I didn't. It was like fun. It. it was. I think yeah. I know what happened. I think it was the berries and. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I just didn't like it that much. Yeah, I don't know. I liked it a lot. It was good enough. Not that this is the best game I've ever played. It just happened to be the first game I played that, for whatever reason, um, inspired me. Also, later that night, or maybe it was the next day, uh, I went out for margaritas with uh, Ms. Brittany over here. And after I had a few of those, I was like, you know what? I'm going to. I think I want to write a review. I'm going to write a review. And then a couple nights later, I did. Oh, yeah, because I hadn't even finished it at that point. So I hadn't want to start writing until i had finished it but um yeah i don't know i really enjoyed it it made me want to get into the writing route so after i wrote it i finally read logan's review i still have I and then i was like well read it crap well i suck at writing that dude can write and yeah, yeah. now i'm just like well i never want to write again because that dude can write no why would it think that no, what did you click? I didn't click. I literally didn't, didn't touch anything. Cancel. We're still good. So uh, installed. Oh, because it's trying to install. Cancel. Something. Cancel. Get out of here. We don't know. Need no we're updates for Elgato. Get out of here, Elgato. We're, we're still green. We're still good. We're still good. Sean, we also played a little game last that night. That scared the crap out of me, by the way. Yeah, but. me too. <laughs> um, we played a game last night. If you're watching us live, there will be a Let's Play going up Monday. If you're watching us not live, you've probably already seen it, but we got I got Ultra Street Fighter 2. What did you think? We recorded a Let's Play. It was, it was one of the most fun Let's Plays I've ever we done. We loved this Let's Play. Street Fighter 2 means so much to us. It'll be posting us. on Monday? Monday. So check it out. Street Fighter 2 means so much to us. Like I said in the Let's Play, we probably spent at least over 100 hours in, in some version of Street Fighter 2 growing up as kids. Like, it is... Insane. Now, I don't know that this is the best version of it because I've only I've played. But I looked at the time. I've already played it for like almost three hours between our let's play and everything. Yeah. Um. So, I love it. Now, I'll give my thoughts before you give yours. We say in the let's play the new art style, which some people hate, the hand drawn Udon comics stuff. I love it on a big screen. If you're playing on a sixty inch or anything like that, it looks fantastic. The old school graphics do not hold up on a big screen TV. What I will say is today I played it for the first time in portable mode. I already told Sean this, but I'll tell all y'all now. When you play that in portable mode on the Switch, it looks perfect. It looks like on a small screen like it did playing Street Fighter 2 Turbo on the a big arcades <laughs> on an arcade machine. Yeah. So, very strange. I don't know why the colors and everything look so washed out on the big screen, but they do. 
either way, so much fun. I beat the arcade mode last night. It wasn't that difficult. I need to amp the difficulty up. But if you're watching us live, go check out that, that Let's Play on Monday. Again, most fun one I think we've ever done. Either that or WWE 2K. And we got like 15,000 views out of that, which is, it was a horrible Let's Play because WWE uh, screwed us. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. recording that was so much fun. It's my recording favorite. Recording this. By the way, let me just, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it yet, watch it all the way to watch the, the end. end. You want to watch the last six minutes of that video, I promise you. Promise you. Yeah. What it was, it was definitely my favorite Let's Play. Um, I really love the game. I love the art style, whatever. The new one? The new one, yeah. I'm curious to but see the old But you have to go with the one. old sounds. You have to go with the old sounds. Yes. I much prefer Hadouken to Hadouken. Hadouken. Yeah, the old sounds are so much better. Shinku. Um, I enjoy it a lot. Like I said on the Let's Play, I don't know that I'm going to pick it up anytime soon for $40. If it goes on sale for like on Amazon 20 right or something, maybe I pick it up. But I mean, it is. It's 32 on Amazon. You get 20% I guess, off. Yeah. I don't know. It's a lot of fun, but... I can see us at least having some game nights out of this. Some old school, like, let's go best out of 15. Yes, yeah. Um, but no, I... I think it's a lot of fun. I don't see how... <sighs> to me, if you're saying this is not the best version of Street Fighter 2, I'm not counting all the alphas. I'm counting no, Street Fighter 2, two Turbo, itself, yeah. Super, all those. I feel like you're getting lost in nostalgia at that point. I don't see how... I mean, you can play with the old school graphics and the old school sounds. Now, granted, neither of us are crazy about the old school graphics on the big oh, screen, cool. I love you, Jess. We're not on number even one yet. I love you. <laughs> I hope Moana is great. Tell the boys I love them. Continue, Sean. Um, but uh, I'm struggling to see, again, nostalgia aside, how this isn't the best version of Street Fighter. Yeah. Just yeah. because, like, I don't know. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun. Like I said, my favorite Let's Play. Um it's something I'll probably pick up someday. And no offense to Brittany, but if I have this podcast, this is what happens when I'm trying to Don't read, read this. the chat when you're talking, <laughs> if Sean. I, if I have this game, I feel like I mean I could play Brittany. I don't even know if they have like handicaps and stuff. Mitchell's here. Hey, Matt Mitchell's here. Matt, What's we up, just, dude? We so just gave you a big you shout here, out man. earlier. We gave you a big shout out. Go back and watch the recording, but we gave you a big shout out at yeah. the beginning. Thank Thanks you for, for being, being here, man. Um. Mm, I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. So I think I would like to own this game, but for 40, I don't know. It's something that I'll probably play through in you know, single player once or twice. Maybe I jump online and see if I get my butt kicked, which I probably would. But I feel like for the most part, even if I owned it, I'd probably just be playing against you online more than anything. And then at that point, it's like, well, I'll probably just play while I'm over at your house and play against you, play against the boys. By the way, I did go online 2-0. Oh. Wow. Oh, the other cool thing about this game, the two-on-one, the buddy mode is oh, awesome. That is fun. That, that I just think, gets, when we get together, that's what we, as we get better and better at it, and we figure yeah. out, as we ramp up the difficulty, that it's going to get insane. So. Yeah. But no, I, I very much enjoy the game. Um, I will probably pick it up. I'll definitely pick it up someday. Right now, is it worth $40? Is it worth $32? Right. Eh. My thing... There, uh, like I said in the let's play, a lot of the reviews are around like a seven out of ten. <laughs> it's like a seven. <laughs> what? Uh, you right? Shout out to Nick, not Shafani. Nick White, my little boy. I love you, bud. Is don't he be, watching? Don't be scared of movies. It's okay. It might be a scary part. It's probably. Have you seen end this happy, movie though? No, but no. it's gonna end happy. All Disney movies do. I love you, bud. Um, definitely the best person in Street Fighter Two. Love it so much. I would not give this a 7 out of 10. Again, I've only played it for about three hours so far. But it's Street Fighter 2. And it probably, like you were saying, it probably is the best version of Street Fighter 2 ever. Therefore, it's a 10 out of 10. Right. By the way, for anybody I'm that not drop the mic. was there for episode 50 or has watched it since, God we bless apologize. You. Yes. It's this not will not today. go that way. This is not going to be a four hour podcast. We're not going to get. It might be three. As drunk, but. 
Now, what is this timer? We haven't been on for that long. No, no, no. I mean, we've been on, but we haven't. We when did we start? 720. We've been live for 24. The act, the full actual podcast has been going for 24 minutes. Oh, yeah. We're good. Sausage All is right. getting made here. All right. So I've played two other games this week. I played Spectre of Torment. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Yeah, that's true. Get, <laughs> get through Horizon first. Um, I played Spectre of Torment. We did a Let's Play of that, but y'all never got to see it because the footage was corrupted. It's going to be my excuse. I think I accidentally probably just deleted it when I was cleaning up my hard drive. Um, we did a Let's Play for Spectre Torment. It never got to go up. You really liked it, right? Spectre? Yeah. The little I got to play of it, yeah. I mean, it's it's no Shovel Knight, but it's way better than Plague. Yes. So I played through two more levels. Yeah. Infur- like I, I texted Sean as I was playing. I was like, "This game is so infuriating, but I love it so much because it's so a what? good type of infuriating." Oh, okay. What did you think I said? I know what you were trying. Infuriating. To say. I think you missed the syllable the first time. Infuriating. That's fine to say it like that. You don't need the other I. That's what I said. No, it's infuriating, not furiating. I'm infuriating. There you go. It was a schwa sound. Continue. Right, Jess. Schwa sound. Um. A lot of fun. I don't know if it's more difficult or not than Shovel Knight. They're both difficult in their own ways, but I love it. And I did also start Axiom Verge. Thoughts? I got the first two weapons. I got the... The, well, the Disruptor get, the, or The Disruptor, and then I got the oh, Drill. I got that, right? Yeah. You, the, 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 I mean, that's the main weapon. The, oh, the okay. Disruptor, I got the Drill, um, and I leveled up something, and I beat the first boss where he's floating around and stuff. Yeah, freaking holy, I love that game. It's. I told you, you were missing out on this. I played probably 30 minutes of it, and I was like... Okay, yep, I've been missing out. So It's I'm, like Super Metroid with souped up original Metroid graphics, basically. Yes. So I think I'm going to keep going back to Ultra Street Fighter 2 because it's Street Fighter 2. But the next like long game I'm going to play through, Axiom Verge. Now, you beat it. Do you remember how long it takes you to beat it? Is it 10 to 12 or is it like a 20-hour game? I beat it, but I also basically... Hundred percent of it. I oh. think when you beat it, or you went back. And no, did either before I beat it or after I beat it, and I went back. I don't remember. I okay. probably put. I can't remember if it was over ten hours. To be honest with you, I would say you could probably hundred percent it in ten hours. There are still parts of the map, like you know, when you've reached the edge of the map because it's got like. I'm thinking of Super Metroid, but it's probably similar in that. Where if you look at the map, it's got like a hard white outline. Versus okay. if you're not to the edge of the room, it's there is no outline. And so there's a couple places in the map where it's like, it looks like I can get one square further that way, but there's just no way to get up. It's just like emptiness. And so there were things like that where I'm like, well, technically I haven't been there yet, but I don't even think I can get there. So I don't know if I 100 percent it, but I did everything I could in that game. I think I found gotcha. I probably didn't. Actually, I take that back. I probably didn't 100 percent it. Like if we were playing Super Metroid... I probably all tanks, all weapons, right, I probably all didn't crap. find every missile expansion, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. And I'm trying to think of what was even in this game. But I did basically, I mean, I explored the whole map. Yeah, I don't know. But you could probably do everything you wanted to in this game in under 10 hours, I would say. Okay. But it's it's totally you'll you'll I think you'll I, I think I'm going to be hooked on this game. But yeah. that's that's what I've been playing this week. I love Axiom Verge. I love Spectre Torment. I'm kind of glad that I'm through 65 hours of Zelda and 50 hours of Horizon, and I can focus on these 50? smaller games. I got the, to get the Platinum. Ugh. Are wow. you going to get the Platinum? This is uh, a no. game I wanted to get the Platinum. I I don't want to get the Platinum yet. I don't know if I will, but... But yeah, so I've been playing Horizon. That's about it. I haven't played a whole lot since we last podcasted. Um, I'm trying to think if anything big has even happened. I think Kevin joined in and watched me playing live for a little bit. Okay, so I'm curious. Yeah, so is that all you've been playing? Because that's all I've been that's playing. That's all I've played. Um, so I know last week, Logan said, I play the game totally different than how he played it. You've seen me play now. What are your thoughts? I just think you need to use the whistle more. I already told you that. Um, yeah. I am very... I was very... Until I really leveled up and got better weapons, I was very... Um, I haven't leveled up Melee focused anything. like you are. I mean, I haven't, in, I haven't I would, bought a new weapon yet. Stealth, or increased my base I weapon. would stealth... And I would melee people, but I use R2 a lot more than you do. If you use R2, that's how you actually knock enemies down, and then you can do the critical hit to finish them off. Oh, okay. You won't yeah, knock do them down. Much. You won't knock them down and stun them with the R1 attack. R2 takes longer, but it is a better attack. Gotcha. 
Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've been playing. Absolutely love the game. I don't think I'm going to be compelled to platinum it, but you, it's a lot of fun. You just wait. It's it's not it could a happen. natural. It could it's not a natural platinum. I did have to grind it, but it was fully worth. It. I'm so glad I I'm so glad I platinum that game. I absolutely love it. Is that all we've been playing this week, Sean? That's all I've been playing. All right. I know you all want to hear our top 75 games of all time, but just wait a little bit more. We got a little bit of news to cover this week. We're going to try to run through it relatively quickly. Ready, Sean? I'm ready. Far Cry 5 got revealed. Sean, is, he's so ready that he's he's leaving me. Far Cry 5 got revealed. So basically, you are, oh God, don't let him near anything that is a wire or cable. Far Cry 5 got revealed. Oh my God. Just so you know, you can you you can have a dog that's a buddy in this game, and that's going to be relevant here in a minute. Oh my God! So Far Cry Five got revealed. All right, it takes place in the fictional Hope County in Montana. You play <laughs> you play a deputy for the U.S. Marshals, and you are going against a religious cult in Montana. They made sure to say they're not demonizing religion. They just want to demonize the ex- extremists. They didn't even say demonize, but they said they're going to focus on the extremists. Oh, the red rocket. <laughs> All right. So Far Cry 5 looks great. You can create your character for the first time in Far Cry. You can either be male, female, black, or white. So that's cool. Um, it is the same Far Cry gameplay as it's always been. Good or bad, I think it's good. I've never played them, but I think it's a good thing. First person, encampments, all that stuff. Uh, you can drive, you can fly vehicles, uh, you can have animals on your side like dogs. Shout out to Murphy. This is and Murphy that you've heard so much about. I have no idea why you're doing this right now. I you're just not to show be him able off to for talk. a little bit. He's this isn't going to last long. He's very cute. Hi, Murphy. So you can have dogs and bears fight on your side. I think you can maybe ride a bear like you could in Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm not really sure. Um, Did you ever do that? No. Okay. I just saw pictures of it. I didn't even know how you do it. Oh, there you um, go. Oh, why? Why is that? Uh, yeah, I don't know how that could be of that. ahead of that. I don't even I don't get it. I don't even. It doesn't know. matter. Jason Murphy is adorable. Um, sure is. My question is: Does all the other Far Cry Far Cry games have taken place like on a remote island? Murphy, do you think that Far Cry works in the USA? Yes, I do. He's going to eat that. That's. <laughs> oh my god! So I watched the trailer today. Finally, um, yes. Jockstrap Nerd Chat. Hey, welcome. Yes, sir. Thank you for showing up. Murphy um, <laughs> confirmed for Far Cry 5. Um, I watched it earlier today. I love it. I love the world. Like That's something you don't really see. It looks great, by the way. You don't the see that in games very much. As far as, like, it looks very, like, small town. Like Now, I don't know how much of that we're actually going to see in the game and how much of that was just part of the 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 trailer i guess but even when they showed like the little like little league baseball field and stuff like that i'm like this is so cool like you're usually in either like a big city or just straight wilderness there's never usually anything in between of like this small town it just looks like such a cool environment and i think the story looks cool um i mean i'm i'm looking forward no no Murphy. <laughs> don't eat the microphone um I'm obviously looking forward to um, Battlefront, which I usually don't care about first-person shooters. That's almost not even a first-person shooter. Like, I don't think of that game as that. This game actually has my attention right now. Because it's even very think much... This is a first-person shooter. No, I shooter. know. You think this is like first-person GTA. Exactly. It's more yeah, It's very say. much story-driven. It's not just a like Twitch shooter. It's just... I don't know. I'm, I Do we have any kind of... Uh, I know we don't have a release date, but when no, we is... do. February twenty seventh, oh, two thousand eighteen. Yeah, so oh, basically okay. a year after Primal came out, or two years after. I can't right. remember now. I don't know. I'm actually two years after. I don't know Primal the. I don't know. I don't know that I'll buy this game, but it looks cool. It looks great. It's the first Far Cry that I've been interested in playing. Um, it's probably going to get a lot of mainstream media attention and everything, just because people are going to make it more than it is. Um. It, it's there's no deeper meanings they're like this is just the story we wanted to tell it is what it is i don't know but um it looks great however the fact that this comes out in late march i mean late february makes me think i'm probably not going to play this because 
a certain other game is going to come out a week or two more after More than likely, yes. That game, you heard it here first. God of War 4, God of War colon Thor, God of Thor, God of Ragnarok is coming out in March because every big, well, you didn't hear it here. I've said that like a million times. Every mainline God of War game comes out in March. This one will be no different. Don't get tricked into think it's coming out this fall. It's not happening. Far Cry 5 looks great. It is what it is. We'll see how it turns out. <sighs> we got some really shocking news this week. This Absolutely week, shocking. This week when it comes to video games. Um, man, I, I like broke down in tears. I just was not prepared for this because Red Dead Redemption 2 was delayed until the spring. I never saw this coming. Shocking. I, I actually thought this game might come out early instead. Hell no. No. The second they announced this game for the fall, me, and I'm not saying it's like I'm the only one that knew this, everybody associated with video games said there's no way in hell this game is coming out this fall. Right. Sure enough, this game is not coming out this fall. It's coming out in the spring, and I don't even know that I believe that. Now, technically, spring could mean May or June. Right, yeah. So this almost feels to me like a right-before E3 kind of game, but that's just kind of what I'm thinking. Are you shocked at all? Uh, no. I also just don't really care. I mean, I talked to Logan last weekend quite a bit about Redemption, and he's definitely sold me because I was kind of my thoughts on Redemption have been it's basically like Grand Theft Auto, but, but not as good in the Wild West. And it's Sorry. like, you, so what do you have? You have a revolver, like a shotgun, like, ocelot. You, you can't steal cars or planes or helicopters Look or steal scale. horses. You can't get on top of skyscrapers. You can't. It's like it's like Grand Theft Auto in a right. different you can't steal time a plane and or a helicopter setting, or and therefore, and because of that, you're so much more limited on what you can do and so i'm just like it just doesn't appeal to me i'm like why would i ever play this when i can play gta 5 but he opened my eyes a little bit and it does i don't know that i'll ever play it but it at least got me more interested in rdr2 i I definitely want oh i'm not going to go back and play revolver no no i'm not saying that i'm saying yeah yeah, yeah. but i don't know i i'm not going to lose any sleep over the fact that it was delayed um A, because I saw it coming anyway, and B, because it's not like something I'm going to get the day it comes out anyway, but it's something I may get. But yeah, like you said, there's probably going to be other games I'm going to want to play at that same time. I I just got to say, Murphy, you're being really good, and you're freaking cute. He's being pretty. He's a good boy. Oh, no, he's about done. Yep, and he's done. And And he's he's going to destroy everything, so I'll be I'm going to take take the next topic. You get him before he breaks the podcast! (laughs) (sighs) Bye, Murphy. Love you. Okay, just go. Oh my God, we're gonna get a cop. We're gonna get a strike on YouTube for that thing being on there. We've got two movie news items here. Uncharted has finally cast its Drake, and I don't give a flying rip about it. Yes, I said that. Tom Holland is young Nathan Drake. Na- Uncharted is no longer about Nathan Drake as we know him. Uncharted is now about. And by the way. You haven't played, you haven't played three or four yet, but obviously you know now. Really, you want to see that when it comes out. <laughs> awesome! This is what my family is watching right now on the big screen. Oh, they done with Moana? The hell with Moana! We're watching the <laughs> two-player co-op podcast episode seventy-five. Hi Nick, hi Noah. Hey Nick, Noah, Jess, Jess, love you. Casey, Casey, Casey's maybe. probably not awake. I don't know what time it is. No, he's probably still awake. Oh, here it is. <laughs> oh God, here goes Murphy. Um, so does anybody? <laughs> Okay. All right. So there is a segment in. Have you heard what this movie is based on? All I know is it's Young Drake. But and I know there's a part from. I think it's four. Is it three? Where you play as Young Drake? Okay. So so, spoiler alert: you do play as Young Nathan Drake in that. Right. I don't know that you're ever going to play it at this point. Okay. It's based on that sequence. This 15 minute sequence. They're going to make a whole movie on. Bernardo, I, don't, I guess you're not watching. I haven't seen you in the chat, but if you're watching, let us know. Bernardo said it perfectly like, not only has Hollywood not realized that we don't need this movie, now they're making a version of it that we don't need. I don't care at all. If this was just a movie with Tom Holland as an adventure guy, would you care anything about it if the name Uncharted was not attached to it? At this point, no. Maybe once I saw trailers and stuff, I'd be like, okay, maybe. Bull crap. But, no, you wouldn't. Just no, be maybe. Like, okay, I mean, like I don't know. Chris I can't Pratt say. I don't care about or whatever. 
No, I can't say. If I just heard, hey, there's a adventure movie, you know, some young explorer played by Tom Holland, I'd be like, okay, well, I would just have no thoughts on it. Now, if the trailers come out and Thank they look really good, said nope. then maybe. But no, as what we know now about this movie, if it did not, if it was not connected to Uncharted and Drake, no, I wouldn't care anything about it. Do you care anything about young Drake? No. Why would? Here's the thing. It just makes I've me think of young around, Indiana Jones, which nobody cared nobody about cared that. About, I've even come around on your casting choice. I would rather have that for old Drake than this crap. Chris Evans. I think Chris Evans would be a good Drake. I don't think he's funny enough to be Drake. I still say Nathan Fillion is perfect. Thank God, I will say this. Thank God it's not Marky Mark. I love Marky Mark. That, he that doesn't make not Nathan sense. Drake, no. though. I would rather have Chris Evans as old Drake than I would this. I think this is a horrible choice. I do not care about this movie at all. And what sucks is this movie more than likely will probably flop, and then they're going to be like, well, see, we shouldn't have made an Uncharted movie, and then we'll never Can see we an actual one. Can we stop wanting video game movies? They don't work. Another conversation I had with Logan last week, I wish he was on here, but as much as I would love to see a Zelda movie or a God of War movie, the funny they don't thing, work well, they as did, movies. They, it was Clash of the Champions or whatever. Clash of the Titans. Whatever. Yeah. No, that was the sequel. No. What was the first one called? What was the second one called then? Oh, first was Clash of the Titans. Second one was Wrath of the Titans, I think. People's eyebrow. I don't know. Um, uh, but what I was happen. telling him is like, you could maybe, oh, what was it? Was it? Matt, I get it. Even if he's a good Spider-Man though, I just don't care. I don't see, and, and I know what they're doing. Like, they're doing a young Nathan Drake story so they can make this movie. Three years from now, he'll be a little bit older. Then they can make an older Drake story. Three years after that, he'll be even, eventually he'll get up to He's what just he is. Gonna be. I care about Nathan Drake, what he is in the video games. Please, chat, don't post any spoilers about what happens in Uncharted 4. I care about, in one way, I do appreciate that they're not screwing with the lore of the video games because that story that they told across those four games is so perfect. But st- I just do not care about this movie at all. Um, yeah, no, I mean I'm with you. It doesn't bother me as much because I'm not as you're not connected invested to like the, I am exactly. Yeah. But it still kind of sucks. I care. I would have at least been interested in seeing an actual Uncharted movie. Now I just don't care. With Nathan Fillion. With anybody. With old Drake. Not or with Chris anybody, Evans. But just yeah. not Mark and Mark. It just seems like a tear. When do you... Has there ever been an established <clears throat> IP that went to a movie format and they started with a younger version of him? It'd be one thing, like, do what whatever they did in the game. Have a little sequence where you see a flashback of young Drake. Or... Have Drake for a movie or two, and then do like a young Drake, like this, they're doing with Han Solo. We didn't start with a young Han Solo movie. Right. We started with Han. Like I will say this: I hope that they are throwing us a swerve here, and they're still going to cast Nathan Fillion as Drake, and that this really is just like the opening thirty minutes or something of the movie. There's no way they would waste that on Tom Holland. Yeah. That's my intern. That's my hope internally for what they're doing here. Uh, yeah. Now, I would love for that to be the case, but I don't think, yeah, I don't know. One place where I do think movies can work is on Netflix. I mean, dang it. Where video games can work is on Netflix. Hashtag Castlevania. Hashtag Castlevania. We we didn't know nothing about this, although we finally seen the first trailer. There's blood. Yeah, how's that not on here? I guess we can talk it about that. It is on here. Oh. Do you not see where oh, it says Castlevania that's why you trailer? Talking about that. Exclamation point, exclamation point. I didn't read ahead. Um... It looks awesome. Nothing about it says Castlevania 3 to me. Which I, I... Supposedly, that's the story they're doing. I don't even know that we even know if that was Trevor Belmont or not. It has to be. I couldn't tell you the first We thing saw him about, grab a whip. Right. But we saw a lot of, like, knives or swords or something, too. But... Yeah. And this is only a four-part series, which means this story is going to go bang, 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 bang. Yeah, that's the story. That was it. I'm very excited for this. I know nothing about this after seeing the teaser, but I'm excited to see it. Very happy. Netflix is the pace, place where I think video game things can work. They're still supposedly... Because they need to be series. They're still... Meta- Bottom line is you can't fit a video game story into a movie. It doesn't work. You need a series. The Metal Gear movie is still happening. Mm-hmm. And John Voight Roberts or whatever is John Voight. This is John Voight's teeth marks in this pencil. 
John Vogt Roberts or whatever is the guy who directed um, the last Kong movie, Skull Island, is directing it. He's been hanging out with Kojima, which feeds into all the conspiracy theories and all that crap. I get it. It's still not happening. Robert, if you tune in, I'll tell you I'll tell you that. But uh yeah, so Castlevania looks awesome. Two more quick news items, then we'll get to our top seventy five games of all time. That's why you guys tuned in. Maybe. I mean, I don't know if it's why you tuned in. Maybe you tuned in for the back why, of the channel. Right but we're we're gonna talk but about that you. later. There are rumors for the PS plus games for June. Logan rumors? would be happy if he was here, but he's not here. Oh, these aren't even confirmed? Uh, PlayStation Turkey tweeted out that the PS4 games, the PS4 PS Plus games for June are Life is Strange and Killing Floor 2. Now, they since deleted the tweet. Hopefully it's real because I want to play Life I want to play Strange. Life is Strange, yeah. Killing Floor 2 would be a lot of fun, just whatever. The I don't really know play anything it. about Nick that. Nick if you're still watching, nope. Um... Oh, Tom, Tom Hardy. Hardy. Is Tom Hardy is Venom is awesome, by the way. By the way, Nick, shout out to Nick. Let me know because when I first uploaded uh, part one of our Logan episode, I said, Tom Hardy has been cast as Bane. Did you really? <laughs> and Nick, let me know. Late I, breaking news yeah, from the two player co op podcast. Five years ago. Um, so. But but the thing is, even if this is true, sometimes Europe gets different PS Plus games than the USA gets. Uh, okay. So it, 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 it could be real for Turkey or Europe. It might not be real for North America, but we'll see how it goes. Um, oh, I got in the next Machina. Um, oh, I saw you text I haven't had a that. chance to play it yet. This is a weird... Oh, it's like already available? Bowl. Oh, yeah, I already down. I've got, I've got it. I quote unquote purchased it. I just oh, okay. play it. Um, but next Machina, I've signed up for the beta. I don't even know because they tweeted some stuff about or tweeted. <laughs> they sent some stuff about what you can do with the beta and what you can't. Seems like you can capture gameplay, but you can't really talk about it until May 29th. It's not May 29th yet, so don't tell them. I'm, I, I, I mean, I haven't even played it yet, so there's nothing to say. But um, it might be fun to capture some gameplay of that and get it up. But yeah, see, Nick knows. Thank you, Nick. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm excited to play that. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to play it at some point. Tomorrow is my anniversary. Shout out to Jess. Love you. So I'm not going to be playing next Machina tomorrow, but I have it until June 1st, which is like that's Thursday. It? But that's like Thursday. Wow. Is that's that how these time. things usually go? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's a short period of time. So we'll see how that goes. Well, one thing we do know that is not rumors is the games with gold for Xbox for June. X-Bone gets Speedrunners and Watch Dogs 1. Xbox 360, these games are also backwards compatible on the Xbox One. Assassin's Creed 3 and Dragon Age Origins. That is three big time triple A triple yeah. A games that the Xbox One gets. Now, if the PS Plus rumors are real, thank you, Nick Shafani. That's a good lineup. It's like, good. I want to play Life is Strange. Like if that but still, Before I saw what the Xbox games were, if that was true for PlayStation, I'd be like, hey, PlayStation probably won this month. Nope. Still no. Nope. So if you own an X-Bone or an X360, those are your free games for June. 